Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. I'm back again today. I'm going to talk about POSO distribution. This is a discrete probability distribution. And it's a, like binomial distribution, which is also a discrete probability distribution. That means the discrete random variable X will have values like 0, 1, 2, 3. So we'll be discreetly jumping the values of the random variable starting from zero to one, one to two and so forth. No decimal values of the random variable are possible. And we usually count this kind of discrete random variable. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. So here it is, a problem on POSO distribution. As I said, it's a discrete probability distribution. A mail order company receives an average of five orders per 500 solicitations. If it sends out 100 advertisements, find the probability of receiving at least two orders. That means the discrete random variable here is number of orders and it is at least two. That means two or greater. First, we have to find out small p, which is probability of success. Remember, it receives an order of five or average of five orders per 500 solicitations. So that is equal to five divided by 500. So probability of success is 0 0.01. Now, if it sends out 100 advertisements, so then we have to find out the mean number of occurrence per 100 advertisements. That is mean number of orders per 100 advertisement which is known as lambda, Greek symbol lambda, is equal to n times me, p, n times p. It's a mean number of solicitations per 100 advertisements in this case. Now we know n is 100 orders, and uh, then lambda is equal to 100 multiplied by probability of success, which is 0 0.01 is equal to 1. So lambda, the mean number of occurrence per 100 advertisements or mean number of orders per 100 advertisements is one. So now we have to find out the probability of at least two. As I mentioned to you initially that at least two means two and greater. So P probability of X, X is the random variable number of uh, orders per 100 is greater equal to two. So greater equal to two means starting from two, we will go up to 100 but what we do not want or what we are leaving out is probability of zero and probability of one. So X greater equal to two is the complement of the event or opposite of the event X less equal to one. So by using the rule of complements in probability, the probability of X greater equal to two is one minus probability of the complement event, which is X less equal to one. So it is one minus, and then I go to my calculator, which is TI-84. I do second verse, okay? And I scroll down. I scroll down to POSO. POSO, in this case, I want CDF. Why? Because I want to add from zero to one, which I do not want, or which is a complement of the event X greater than two. So POSO CDF, my lambda value is one. My X value is also one, okay? So in the parenthesis, POSO CDF, one, one. One is, first one is a lambda value. Second one is the X value. I'm adding from zero to one. And I'll go to the pest, scroll down to the pest and hit enter twice, okay? Twice, and I get the answer as 0 0.7357. This is the cumulative probability of zero and one. So from one, I will subtract that. And the final answer is 0.2642. So probability of at least two orders per 100 order is 0.2642. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to write me a comment. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. I'll appreciate that and I will uh, get back to you next week with more problem, with more statistics problems. So please like my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, have a great day and see you next time.